Good morning students. Our lesson for today is Lobster Quadrille. Born Charles Lutwich Dodson, the writer known as Lewis Carroll was a Renaissance man of the Victorian era. He was an accomplished mathematician, poet, philosopher, inventor and photographer in the art form's earliest days. Yes, yet most of us know him best as a children's author because of Alice and her adventures through the tea of Wonderland. A master logician, Lewis Carroll's work in the fields of linear algebra, geometry and puzzle making is noteworthy. Beginning in his mid-twenties and continuing for over two decades, Lewis Carroll created over 3,000 photographic images including portraits of friends and notable figures like Alfred Lord Tennyson, landscapes and stills of skeletons, dolls, statues, paintings and more. Some of his notable works are Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Through the Looking Glass, The Hunting of a Snark, Jabberwocky, Curios Curiosa Mathematica Part 1 and 2 and the Principles of Parliamentary Representation. This poem is actually a song which the Mock Turtle sings to Alice as he dances with the Gryphoon in Alice in Wonderland. These two are the characters in the story Alice and the Wonderland. Thus, the poem is also referred to as the Mock Turtle's Song. The poem was taught to the turtle by his teacher, Tortoise. Lobster Quadrilly is a dance where all of the sea animals except the jellyfish partner up with the lobsters, advance from the seashore and throw the lobsters out of sea. Lobster Quadrilly is the name of a dance which they used to perform when they were younger and went to school under the sea. Each of the participants in the dance take lobster as partners and later throw the lobsters out of sea as far as they can. Although they have no lobsters with which to perform the dance, the Gryphoon and the Mock Turtle attempt to demonstrate it to Alice while the Mock Turtle sings the poem. The poem describes a conversation between a whiting and a sea snail. The whiting first asks the snail who is in front of him to move faster because a porpoise who is behind him is treading on its tail. He then invites the snail to join the lobster quadrilly dance which will involve getting thrown far out to sea like the lobsters. The snail refuses to take part saying that he does not want to go so far away. The whiting tries to persuade the snail that, that there is nothing to fear because there is another shore on the other side of the sea. That is to say that if the snail is thrown far from England, he will be near to France. It is not revealed whether the snail ultimately chooses to take part in the dance or not. The Mock Turtle is a fictional character devised by Lewis Carroll from his popular 1865 book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Its name is taken from a dish that was popular in the Victorian period, Mock Turtle Soup. And this poem is a song that was sung by Mock Turtles and that is why it is also known as Mock Turtles Song or Lobster Quadrilly. It is a song recited by the Mock Turtle in the novel Alice Adventures in Wonderland accompanied by a dance.